Hey Dees fans, AFLW Season 7 is upon us and we're here to preview what is to come. Libby Birch, it's been 139 days <laughs> since the Grand Final and we're back. Are you ready for another season? Well, it certainly feels a lot quicker than 139 days, that's for sure. But yeah, super excited to be back. It's going to be an awesome season and 18 teams. 18 teams is massive. What's that do for the competition? Oh, it just completes it. It's just a full picture now and it's so exciting to have four new teams in the competition and obviously four new teams of fan base as well. Now, pre-season and has been in winter for the first time, some late nights. How have you found it? Oh, it's been fun. It's been really fun. We've had a few wet nights and we've been wearing our skins like right up into our wrists and then the skins down the bottom as well and completely different to summer footy where you're like busting, you've got like 45 degree heat, you've, you're in singlets. Uh, so it's, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. You've had the opportunity to have two hit outs, one against Essendon, a 44 point win, and one against Carlton, 70 point win on the MCG. How did you feel like the group sort of bonded out there? Yeah, I think it was a really good stepping stone to have two practice matches this year, particularly with Essendon. I thought we developed a lot more as a group uh, in our second practice match against Carlton. We took those learnings from that. And then throughout the last couple of weeks, we've been able to add on to our game against Carlton in our training sessions and I feel like we're ready to go. That match being at the MCG, a, a good opportunity and a little taste test for round two? Yeah, absolutely. It's you, you can't get enough of the G. It's so cool. And to have our second game there and be two from two from the G is, is awesome. We've got a fair few new girls added to the mix this season. A, a real recent last minute addition in Ella Little. She'd been doing some training with Adelaide, but who are you most looking forward to seeing out of the new girls? Well, on Ella Little, uh, obviously exciting young talent, but from the nemesis, Adelaide. So she's happily spilled the beans. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just been great to have um, so many new girls. They've added so much depth to our team. And, uh, you know, Jordan Ivey has got a terrific hands above her head. She's been a, a great left footer for us. And uh, Maeve Chaplin back uh, is just been terrific. So much energy in the group. Geordie Ivey is a favourite of mine. Actually interviewed her during uni, so she's, uh, <laughs> she's my new favourite player. There you but, go. <laughs> nah, she, she's a dangerous forward, also can play down back. She's a real handy utility to add to the team. Charlotte Wilson, you've played a little bit alongside her in defence, so what do you make of her? Yeah, she's an awesome talent. Like, had a terrific couple of seasons at Carlton and I think she's going to add so much depth to our backline group. She's a really strong player and particularly, sadly, with Gab going down, I think she fills that spot quite nicely um, and she's just a ripper talent. We have a few injuries, obviously, Gab Colvin ACL out for the season. Eliza McNamara, an incident in the gym. She won't play at all. And also Rhee Watt, who's joined from the Saints. She can't play due to an ACL, but what's she brought to this group? Oh, the energy. We call it the rehab group, but she's just been such a leader for, for that group. It can be quite lonely in that injury space. And I think she's really brought such leadership energy but also the ability to join both groups together and uh, a really special human and we're really lucky to have her. Obviously with the expansion over the off season there's been some player movement we've been able to retain the majority of our list but some big stuff going on in other teams obviously Aaron Phillips, Jim Houghton joined Port Adelaide, some real big names on the move. What have you made of I guess how everything's shaped up? Well I think we're in a really good position as a club to have had so many stay and I think that that, from a supporter base, from a club culture point of view, it just shows how strong we are. And our hunt for something bigger than what we've ever achieved before is, is, is quite close, but we've just got to make sure we, we finish it off on the, on the final stage. So uh, we've got a whole new season to get through and you know it's going to be even more challenging with the 18 teams and there's so much talent now spread across all teams. So we're pretty excited. In terms of our players, obviously new season, who's one player that you think fans should watch? Definitely Eliza West. She, has, she was an absolute weapon last year, but if you thought she was a weapon last year, she's going to be so good this year. Just had a super pre-season, has absolutely worked her butt off in the gym, but also on the training track, doing extra sessions at BFL straight after the season, six finish. So she's going to be a ripper. I'm going with Alyssa Bannon. So it's her third season now. Had a little bit of time to develop. She showed against Brisbane in that final that she can play on the big stage. She's got pace. She can kick a goal, but also could push up onto the wing potentially without Eliza in the side. So I think the sky's the limit for Alyssa Bennett. And the young girls are starting to really take a hold of this competition. So that's going to be one for mine. A few new coaches. Uh, how's that all shaped up? Oh, they've been awesome. Brew and Amos uh, have been such a terrific addition to our group, such a technical addition as well, particularly throughout our midfield. So they've been adding a new voice uh, to the group, but also adding new thoughts and 
and, and ideas to that midfield group as well. So they've been awesome. Leadership group, obviously tough. There were so many leaders last year. The club wanted to just strip it back a fraction. We've got Daisy Pierce captain again, so we're in good hands. Kate Hoare taking on the vice captaincy and yourself and Tyler Hanks also rounding out the leadership group. You've just come from a meeting. How are you finding that mix? Yeah, I think it's, it's obviously a really tough decision to, to I guess, make that group smaller because we've got such a talented group of leaders throughout our entire playing list. So I think it was the right decision to, to make sure that we could get some concise decisions happening throughout this season. And uh, we're, we're, we're a really strong group. So regardless of who's named as what, uh, everyone's got a role to play. So no, I think it's a really nice mix and we've done a really good job over the off season to nail that. Just before we wrap things up, we'll have a look at the fixture. So obviously it starts with a grand final rematch against the Crows. <laughs> can't get any better, can it? No, I can't. <laughs> and that game has been moved to Glenelg yep. for any of the fans heading over to Adelaide. You must be just keen to get a shot at redemption straight away. Yeah, absolutely. I think the the short turnaround between seasons has been quite nice because you haven't had to dwell on a, a grand final loss too long and to have them round one is perfect because you can kind of show what you've done as a team but also play a team that got the better of you in the grand final. So, no, we're really excited about that opportunity and then obviously round two, we're at the G. Back on the big stage, there's three interstate trips, Adelaide obviously, then Fremantle and Gold Coast. Do you enjoy the chance to get away with the girls? Yeah, I think it's, it's the best part of footy. I like spending time with the girls before and after a match and if you're lucky enough to go uh, interstate you get more time so I think it's just the bonding you can't manufacture it's just a perfect way to spend time with each other but also when you have success on the road as the boys know it's a pretty sweet feeling. And round five is our first home game at Casey Fields against the Lions. You always got to love getting back to Casey. Oh, absolutely. It's the, the field of dreams out there and uh, we love it out there. And we've had a few sessions out there throughout our pre-season and uh, it's just a really exciting time. Uh, and we know all our Casey fans get out there and support us. So we can't wait to see you. Not long until the season kicks off, Lib. Good luck for everything that you've got ahead and looking forward to seeing you in action in 2022.2. <laughs> Thanks, Ben.